I'm going to introduce Melissa Ann Pinney, um, who is someone that I first met at Ragdale as a fellow resident in 2017. Yeah, um, we had just, you know. When I was 22. <laughs> and I hadn't been born yet. Um, <laughs> um, <laughs> we, um, there, every cohort that I've been a part of at Ragdale has had its own unique energy, um, its own vibe, its own ethos, its own collaborations that have come out of it. Um, some groups are a little bit more stay in your room at work and then work. Some groups are more about work all day and then gather in front of a fire at night with a glass of wine. And this was this cohort was, I think, the most fun I've had with a cohort. It was, and we got a ton of work done as well, uh, which is which is kind of the way it goes. Um, so Melissa is a photographer. Um, she is one with books that are back there, as you will see. Um, uh, you know, part of the idea of Novel Affair, at least this year, it's gone different ways, different years, is kind of, well, they're not all novels, but is there a book attached to everybody? Um, but we really wanted to be bringing in some of the other arts that are foundational to what Ragdale does. Um, so Melissa is a Guggenheim Fellow um, who tends to primarily photograph um, the emerging identities of American women and girls in absolutely riveting ways. Um, her work has been featured at MoMA, at the Art Institute of Chicago, at the Eastman Museum, at the Whitney Museum, all of the places that you've basically ever heard of. Um, I've been delighted myself to just be wandering through the Art Institute uh, photo wing and see a photo by her on the wall and go, I know her. Um, she has exhibited her work nationally and internationally, um, received grants from the Illinois Arts Council and the NEA. Um, she has, uh, her books include Regarding Emma, Girl Ascending, and Two. Two might be particularly interesting for uh, literary-minded people. She worked on that with the author Anne Patchett, and it has contributions from a lot of other authors, including Richard Russo, former novel affair author. Um, really fascinating. Um, right now, and I'm so excited about this because I got to see an exhibit of some of the work uh, in progress, and this is also what she was working on uh, at Raddale. Uh, Melissa is working on a book of her Chicago Public School pictures, photos that she's done of young women in the CPS system, called Signals and Mysteries, and it is to be published in 2023. And here she is. You might imagine that it's kind of hard as a visual artist to follow all these incredible <laughs> writers, and I'm really honored to be up here. Uh, it's the dream of every photographer that I've ever known to have a photo book. And when you're first starting out, or even a little bit further than that, it just seems impossible. Photo books are really expensive, you need a lot of support. Um, and my first photo book was called Regarding Emma, as Rebecca said, and I had the um, intelligence to ask Ann Patchett to write an essay for me. Um, and so this was in 2003, and Ann Patchett wasn't quite Ann Patchett then. Um, but she was as generous um, then as she is now. And so she wrote for the book, and it brought it to a different audience. My second book, book, Girl Ascending, um, actually both of those books I say kind of spun out from my own life and were filtered through my Catholic girlhood. Um, two was a little bit different. Um, my photographs were sequenced kind of separately and then ten writers, including Anne and Barbara Kingsolver and Elizabeth Gilbert and this incredible lineup that um, said yes because Anne asked them. <laughs> uh, wrote essays on the notion of two. Uh, so, what did I want to say? Uh, <laughs> photo books tell stories also, but it's a little bit different, of course, not in words, and the stories are made by, every time you take one photograph and put it next to another photograph, you've changed the meaning of both of them. You know, and then you have to find a third, and sequencing photo books can really take months. And it's usually not done alone. Usually, you know, you work with people that you really trust. And it might change 50 times. And Ragdale is an incredible place to do that. Um, 
because you have all the time in the world and you can lay out the pictures and change the edit over and over again. Um, the other thing I wanted to say about Ragdale and you know, just kind of building on things that other people have said in front of me is that feeling that every time you start a project, whether it's a book or every day that I go to the public schools to make photographs, it's a new day, and every day it's hard all over again. Every day it feels kind of impossible. Um, and every day that I, you know, find the whatever it takes to go do it, um, you know, something happens that I couldn't have imagined. Um, and when that happens in the pictures, that's, those are the best pictures. You know, not the ones that look like the ones you've made before, but the ones that look like uh, what you couldn't have imagined before that day. So I have some, right before this started, someone asked me, you know, did you plan out what you were going to say? And I said, no, it's only five minutes. What's so hard about that? And then I thought, oh my God. <laughs> so uh, I, what I also wanted to say about photo books was that it's really a renaissance now for photo books. You know, it used to be you had to have a major publisher. You had to have the kind of support of someone like an Ann Patchett. But now there's so many different publishing houses, so many um, independent publishers. It's really a, a wonderful time to explore photo books. And I hope that I will be coming back to Ragdale to sequence this new book on the Chicago Public Schools. I've been photographing in at Sen High School, Ogden High School, Jenner Middle School, and and I started at the Bell School, which was K through eight. This is just a whole different world for me, very different than when I photographed my daughter, Emma, and our life and the way that life spun out into the neighborhood and the church and sports. Um, this is a, a different world that I feel really privileged to be allowed to photograph and to make connections with the kids at these schools and to learn you know, a little bit what it's like to be um, a teenager now, and I read something that um, Ursula Le Guin wrote about being in your 60s and 70s, and how it's like adolescence because your body's changing again, and you're feeling like, wait, what? what? This is me. What's happening? Um, and so, in a way, I can relate to the kids. In that <laughs>